Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Legend of the Gaia. Did I save on slot one last time or slot two? I know that I've been using kind of both slots. Uh, Rogue Star 47. Conquer Pass, okay. So, yes, our, our current save is in slot one. I, I saved on the temp save slot, which I have designated number 11 for some reason, because we can't actually get out of where we are right now. We are in the rogue's tower, uh, stuck in the past, and uh, I believe we're just about to fight a boss here in order to shut down the first mist generator. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, did I set up my gear? I think I set up my gear, right? Yeah, I set up my gear for boss. Why can't I go north from here? I think I ran into like an event object or something. Terra, is this the place? Is the rogue here? Oh, I understand. Oh, oh, uh, Terra, is this the place? Is the rogue here? I, I saw Terra and I thought it was Terra talking. Oh, I understand. You can't talk now. Where could that head rogue be? I sense the presence of evil, but the rogue is nowhere to be seen. Ow. Rude. It's the rogue! Oh my goodness, I'm bad at this today. It's the rogue! This is the head rogue, the one sealed in the, in the tower. If we defeat this one, the mist and conquer will disappear. Let's get him! Let's teach this rogue a lesson! Okay, let me get the art table here. Probably won't need probably won't need the art table too much. Mostly just doing miracle arts wherever possible, but um, I don't believe Gala can yet do that. Also, I think using the Wonder Amulet might be a good idea, considering that uh, this world is an element change. Um, this is probably a bad idea. I probably actually need to, to defend right now, but... Uh, I'll just go whole hog, I guess. Except for you. That's a good number, 3,018. Did this rogue just not have defenses? Ooh, that's not as good of a number. Rogue flame. Also, just realized Noah's health is not full. This might be bad. Yeah, that's bad. Huh? 
Hmm. All right. Um. Counting on the turn order. Phoenix on Noah. And then. Yelling fruit. So this is probably going to be another pattern of like defend, attack, defend, attack, defend, attack. <laughs> sure how I feel about uh, such a predictable pattern, but like, at the same time. You can only make the fight easier if it's just the same thing all the time. I just kind of doing as much damage attrition as possible than healing the damage that you did take. Attrition, the damage mitigation. Words are hard. And Gal is gonna do us some healing. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened there. I thought that the game had frozen. Probably have Vaughn take care of the healing next turn and have Gala use one of the super arts. It's because the Miracle Art does take 99 art points. Oh boy, I can get a free iPhone 14 Pro from T-Mobile if I act immediately now. Uh, no. Here's a hint. I'm not with T-Mobile. Um... And, uh... Yeah, that looks good. I mean, there's, there's a difference between getting T-Mobile in the mail and getting basically fish and spam in your inbox. So that's probably what's going on, is the element change is... Uh, 
not only determining the uh, rogue's uh, next attack, but also what it's strong against. So right now it's fire, so it's going to be able to defend better against uh, Vaughn. Probably. That's what I figure anyway. Sorry for that little noise. Trying to adjust the microphone for for optimal voiceness. But those are probably words. Um, I'm actually going to have you heal. Okay, there, there is something up with, like, Orb in this fight. Where it just kind of freezes for a couple of seconds. So now it's Wind Element, which means that uh, it's going to be stronger against uh, Noah. This crystal boss is very spongy. One wouldn't really expect for a crystal. Yeah, I don't know what's what's up with Orb. Like it's not completing its animation. It's weird. Unfortunately, that's going to mean that uh, Rogue is going to be defending against Gala. But also, Gala is not using the Miracle Art, so that might affect things. No, that's definitely not as strong. Ran out of budget for the animation, but only in this room. Talking, I know. Um, 
Right, so you don't have the art points for that, so I'm gonna have you heal. May as well just use Spoon. Spoon! boss is going to start like falling when it's running out of health or if it's only going to finally fall when it's dead because like I feel like I've been wailing on it for a little bit now. This boss doesn't need to be as strong as it is. Rogue Wind, also known as a fart. Not silent, but definitely deadly. Um, so yours is ready. You're gonna heal, because uh, yours is uh, being defended. Yours is probably going to be defended by the time that it's your turn, unfortunately. Well, like, what else are we gonna do? There we go. Yeah, a rare occurrence of a boss that uh, does not indicate when it's starting to die. And either that or it's really subtle. We did it! We defeated the rogue! Now we can destroy Rogue's Tower. I think it's taking care of itself right now. Oh wow, look! Rogue's Tower is breaking apart! Ala, can I ask you something? What is it, Lua? And how do we get back from, to Conquer from here? Ah, oh, the exit. Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die when Rogue's Tower collapses? I'm not going to die in a place like this. Ozma, can you hear me? Of course I can. Ozma, I've been watching you the whole time. Well done, though. Now that the rogue now that the rogue is dead, the mist must be gone from Conquer by now. Terra! Come, it's time to return the heat to the human world. Gather together, everyone. We're almost out of time. Okay, here we go. I must go now. My own planet needs me. Except that we're on our home planet. We're more like going to our home time, really. No, now Rogue's Tower destroys you! 
my timeline needs me. Yes. Court! Fortunately, the mist has stopped. That is good. However, the mist has claimed many lives. What do you think you're doing? But father, the mist is... Your Majesty, this is all a simple mistake. Yes, the experiment was successful, but... Mistake? Ooh. Does a simple mistake take people's lives? Sometimes it does. Let's go! Hey, Edge. How you doing? Huh? Who are you? I'm Noah. Don't you recognize me? It's me, Noah. Noah, you're not supposed to mess with... Your Majesty, you must believe us. We've just been to the Sarah world and cut off the source of the mist. Is that so? Fantastic. Now I understand everything. You have my deepest gratitude. The people of Congram owe you their lives. I wish to hear more. Let's go to the surface for a long chat. Let's go. Court, that thing on your back. You're wearing a seru. It matters not. Court, Jet, Zora. All of you remain there and repent for what you have done. Prince Court, His Majesty doesn't understand at all. He doesn't understand the mis possibilities or your grand plan. I know, Zola. Just forget about it. Besides, I still have time to get a lot done. <laughs> You're quite right. Quite right. These three brave warriors have saved Conkrum from danger. In reward for this, they desire the Nemesis Gem. Nemesis gem are byproducts of the Gate of Hell's construction. They are refuse. It pains me to give these three uh, these three such things as a reward, but if that is what they desire, then so be it. Such dignity. I am therefore going to give them nothing, losers. Father. I beseech you, do not give them the Nemesis gem. Silence, court. This is my decision. Vaughn, come here. Vaughn now has the Nemesis Gem. All of you, you have my gratitude. Noah is a nice name, isn't it? I wonder what your daughter is going to be named now because someone decided to mess with the timeline. The stairs lead to the roof. The dresser is empty. That seems unlikely. Now get out of my house. Noah exists to name herself Noah. And this is my favorite place in all of Conqueror. Fun, Noah, Gala, thank you very much. Thanks to you, my unborn child is safe and sound. I'm Noah. That's Noah. No, no, don't. Noah, have you forgotten? But Tara, that's my mother. My mother. You must never say who you are or what will happen in the future. 
If you do, you will just create chaos that will benefit the Mist and its allies. But... Noah, now that you are grown, you must understand, correct? Chaos? Benefit the Mist's allies? You're right. I'll do what I have to, even if I don't like it. To whom do you speak? Pardon me, Your Majesty. Noah says that you look just like her mother. Oh, <laughs> I see. Now, I hope to have a daughter like you. I'll give you this so that you may always remember me. Noah now has Mania's ring. Which she was going to give to her daughter. So she, now she's only going to get it 12 years later. Actually, I was praying here for my son, Court. Court has changed completely. He has always been zealous about his research, but... Since becoming involved in the mist, he seems like a completely different person. I believe that you brave warriors have been sent here- uh, have been sent to be my god. Please, if something happens to Court, you must save him. You can save Court, I'm sure of it. So apparently this Court dude is Noah's brother? I don't know if I remember that part. I mean, it's not really a story beat that I, I don't think it really comes up that much. So. In a dang way, we're just gonna go into this room and like, never come out of it again. Hope you don't mind. Oh, are we going back to our time? Good. Now, according to Bill and Ted logic, only the Victor can go back and change the path. So, well, none of our characters is named Victor, so... Vaughn let the Seraphine. No, what's wrong? Where is my elder brother? Let's go back to the future, Noah. Your parents are waiting for you. Uh, okay. You're right. Let's go back to the future. Well, if you didn't capitalize it... Actually... Now, I'm not sure what I, where I was going with that. Never mind. Prince Court. If a mist specimen is what you need, then we have this. That's right. By analyzing this, I can make my own mist. You will, you will require a device of some size. I don't care. We'll build a mist generator in the Absolute Fortress. We'll conquer the world. Matayu has Giant Sarah, the Legend of Juggernaut. Mist technology and Juggernaut. What an interesting combination. Prince Gorge, there is no one to your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Listen well. This is an order. An O-R-D-E-R -E order. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K.
Oh, okay. Guess we gotta talk to mom. No one. You heard me. Ford is my son. And he is your brother. After that incident, two Saru remained in Conqueror. One was transformed into the Sim Saru, which fed on the nests and engulfed Conqueror. The other Saru may be a fragment of an evil rogue. That Saru can give humans incredible knowledge. It was that power that awakened Kord's wicked ambitions. With Raseru and Raseru eggs, he created a mist generator in the Simseru. He learned to create Simseru to provide him with the power to achieve his ambitions. By the time we realized what Kord was doing, it was already too late. I feel so responsible. It's not your fault, Mother. I'm gonna shut down the mist generator in the absolute fortress for good. After that, you won't have to be alone anymore, Mother. No, I love you. Love, yes, love. I know about love. Mother, don't give up. It's <laughs> a good reply there. But your mom tells you, "I love you," and you just reply, "Oh yeah, love." I don't know what that is. Bye. Uh, actually, your orb is always free. Yeah. Uh, Zero, I am not qualified to answer that question. I might, however, refer you to the work to the collective works of Hathaway. <laughs> Good to see them waste a turn. Hyperfield. Well, that's cool. I didn't realize that was a thing you could do. Also, I think I might need to rearrange my, uh... Rearrange my, uh, um, accessories. Oh boy. Fatal decision. How fatal is this gonna be? really fail, but that's very annoying. Accessories. I guess I didn't really need the 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 yeah the wand amulet. Um, right, let's give you the war soul and the ivory book. And 
then you can get, instead of the Vitality Ring, you can get the Evil Icon. The old guy like on back. Oh. Actually, something that just hit me. I wonder if you can equip the Nemesis gem because, like, that's a that's a thing that they like to do. But you get an item that you're going to need to, you know, use permanently at some point. Well, guess what? You can equip that for like the two seconds that you have it. Bowling for the guys over here. That enemy's name is indeed Slippery. Also, hey Tyrion, how you doing? Yeah, Noah definitely could use some healing. Later evolves into slip and slide. The same Pokemon, by the way. I know that's not what she said, but it sounded like she said, Mom, can I go home? Uh, let's bring you back up and uh, heal through. Okay, she's still up. Um, let's just go for it. Be great if you had your turn right now, but you don't. I'm surprised that the enemies here are as tough as they are, because, like, they should be exactly the same as they were before, and we still have pretty much the same equipment, if not exactly the same. Maybe the, you know, accessories are a little different. Let's see if we can get out of here before we uh, end up in another counter. There we go. But now it's time to go to the Absolute Fortress. There's an absolute terrible name for that. Also, I forgot to check the Nemesis Gem. I need to remember to check the Nemesis Gem. Because my memory is... What was I talking about? Oh, my memory. Yeah, it sucks. Counter!
Come to think of it, before we go to the Absolute Fortress, it might not be a bad idea to, like, stop at an inn. We should be able to return to Conqueror via Door of Wind, so... It'll just be the matter of finding somewhere to sleep, because... Conkrum sure doesn't have an inn that is currently in operation, considering that they are currently under, um, Sinsir occupation. I suppose that was a way of putting it. Well, at least he died blushing. I don't know if that's any sort of sauce at all. Ooh, we get a healing berry. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. So if I use a door of wind, I don't get conquer as an option, but I think if I go to Soren Camp, uh, I can go back to conquer from Soren Camp. So that works for me. Fortunately, it is a free in. All right, well, if we talk to Luktez. Okay, but are you going to take me directly to the Absolute Forest, or are you going to take me to Conquer? Oh, and it just straight up, like, every time you, um, every time you take this trip, it just gives you another Door of Wind. It's like, the designers know, like, yeah, you straight up cannot get back without this Door of Wind, so... Which seems like, honestly, more of a patch than a fix. You know what I mean? But at least we get to hear this music again. Now apparently you're still gonna drop me off right here. Also it seemed unnecessary to show me the entire cutscene again. Alright, just to ease my, uh, my run back there. Uh, where are the good luck though? and try to get to the good part a little bit faster. So of course we could have come here earlier, but it would have just been turned away because we don't have the Nemesis gem that I forgot to check again. And now it's probably too late. So 
So this is the gate of hell. If we destroy the mist generator here, then Conklin will be free. No, the nemesis gem from your parents. Throw it toward the gate of hell. Okay. I'm not afraid of you. I hate you. Get out of here. Yeah. Well, that worked. No, you did it. Now I can go inside. Once, the, once we destroy the mist generator, Conklin will be free. And my mother and father will... Alright, listen. This is the last mist generator. Let's not get careless. I'm gonna check this walkthrough. Just to see if the Nemesis gem actually had anything. Oh, it did. It wasn't particularly good. As it turns out, it has the same effect as the bad luck bow. It increases in counter rate. Uh, so speaking of bells, let's go ahead and... Uh, Review that again. Ooh, these, uh, these look, at the very least, they look pretty nasty. Really picking on Vaughn there. Let's keep on fighting. Thunderstorm. Heck, we might be getting one of those tonight. <laughs> well, maybe not one of these. Wow, that was super rude. Didn't hurt Gala as much because he's lightning aspected, but still, like... Uh, Unfortunately, I didn't capture that power for myself. Dura! Uh, let's go ahead and orb. Uh, Auto is usually sufficient. There we go. Now the animation for uh, for Orb actually works correctly. Be done with this fight, shall we? There we go. Unfortunately, did not capture it. Found some extra money in the budget to restore it. Is that what happened?
box. Life armband, what does that do? Life armband, oh, increase max HP. We already have one. Also, there's a save point right there. That worries me. A couple of bar level twos. Yikes. Oh. That was very not good. I feel like I need to reinforce the fact that, like, we have, we currently have the best available gear. Uh, this is... See, I have two guides open and, like... One of them has recommended levels for bosses. So I can tell you that the recommended level for the next boss is 34. So we probably have some work to do, actually. You're gonna cast Spoon. Gonna hold off on uh, resing. Noah, just yet. You kind of wish that Spoon actually, like, would restore faint. Maybe it does restore faint at high level. I would have to check that, see if it does. Maybe a way during the next turn. But we did capture Bara, so that's something. Uh, so, Phoenix on Noah and a healing fruit. Regret to inform you that uh, level nine spoon does not restore faint. So already we're facing some pretty rough uh, terrain here. I think we have, isn't there like an equipment that we have to, um, like one of the books? Now that's items, as gold. There probably is a book for experience, but we probably do not have it. We have ivory, golden, and bronze. Maybe it's like the silver book is what uh, gives us more experience.
Oh, look at that, some more opportunities to uh, acquire a spoon. same time trying to figure out if there is an item that increases experience gain. There isn't a silver book. The crimson book is what we're looking for. Oh, really? Is that the only place? Yeah, it sure is. Alright. We have not come upon the area where the Crimson Book is located. And really, they should have put it a lot earlier than that. Why is this here? Crimson Chin? That's probably a reference, but it's not one that I understand. As it turns out, I'm really good at not understanding references. Also, these guys are really good at being fast and kicking my ass. Oh good. Noah's dead again. Uh, we did have the Fairly Odd Parents, it's just not one that uh, I watched. Vaughn, please do not die before you cast Spoon. Thank you. The fights are really rough here. Like, what, what's, what's the deal? So what was the recommended level for Rogue? 33? That was super easy though. Uh, you're gonna have to cast Spoon again. Uh, the other two of you just Spirit, because like... And then neither of them does their air blade thing. Refreshing. Healing by the spoonful. Ah. 
died to a counter. Love it. It's always very, um, very satisfying when you manage to kill an enemy when it's not your turn. <laughs> Apologize for those noises, I have no control over them. Really wish that I did. Yeah, why does this little side path even exist? Like, there's not a chest there or anything. No, long, look, there's a big pool of mist. Yeah, thanks for pointing out the obvious. Wow, amazing. Looks like a lake made of mist. Hey, what's that? What is that? This must be mist from the mist generator above. That means we have to climb up from here. Either way, we have to go around the lake of mist. Bon, I can't wait to destroy that mist generator. There is something living in there and I want nothing to do with that. Box. Ooh, rainbow jewel. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to wear the rainbow jewels, because, like... Let's see. Yeah, especially you. We don't need to be stealing things. We need to be alive. Unfortunately, I only have two of them. Oh good, immediately a fight. I suppose it makes sense that you would have some sort of healing ability. I wish that you wouldn't use it against me. Because now this uh, Spoon A is back up to full health. Hey, now we have two characters a spoon. Bit of a risk because I'm trying to get uh, Gala to get the final hit on this uh, on this spoon. Try to get everyone spoon. Unfortunately, no acquisition this time. But Gala levels up, so at least there's that.
There is no spoon. Okay, how is everyone doing? Um, what is doing all right there? How's everyone doing in chat? You all doing okay? You, you need an orb? So you spirit up, and you're going to attack this Bara, and you're also going to spirit up. Oh, come on, really? Ah, so now you're playing the uh, oracles of ages and seasons, respectively. I haven't played through those games in a long time. I did kind of start playing one because, uh, like, both of the Oracles games are uh, available on uh, Nintendo Switch Game Boy Online. I forget exactly what Nintendo calls their um, emulator service. Advanced Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, Oracles would be a regular Game Boy. It's true that you do get an additional prize or something if you play the Oracles games on the Game Boy Advance, but like, literally all that is is like. When you boot up the game, it checks to see if you're running on a Game Boy Advance, and if so, it sets a flag. But if you, like, use cheat codes to just set the flag to begin with... And there you go. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, um... If that flag to uh, make it think that it's on a Game Boy Advance is enabled on the uh, Game Boy Switch Online thing. It isn't? Oh, okay. I feel like they really should enable that because like there's literally no way that you can run those games on the Game Boy Advance emulator. Like, it wasn't on a three. That's just dumb. Like, either either enable that flag or just take the item out. Right? Oh boy, here comes the storm. Let me guess, it's gonna happen twice and my entire party is gonna die. Well, maybe not. If you haven't finished out in the game, it only opens if you're playing on the GBA and it's closed on both Oracle games. Well, still super bad.
Like you're forcing a marketing gimmick where the marketing is invalid. I think Gaul is taking more damage now because he doesn't have the rainbow, uh, rainbow jewel. So he's the one that's actually in danger now. I wonder if it'd be possible to like generate a password that just starts you with that. Uh, with that special ring. Uh, there probably is a password generator for uh, both of the other games online somewhere. Uh, if, I, I would have to say, if there is a password generator for friggin' Golden Sun, Passwords for the ring are a separate thing from the normal secret password. Gotcha. Well, then Sun also got to be added to the Vienna, so I have no idea and I don't have the expansion pack, so if they do, I'm not gonna know unless I. You know, Specifically, go looking for the information. Ooh, we're leveled up. Pretty sure that um, Golden Sun probably has the record for longest password in a video game. 280 characters. It would take like it would take a either two classic tweets on Twitter or one um, current tweet on the website formerly known as Twitter. I think it's 280 anyway. Oh, it would be absolutely awful on the NSO because like the the only way that you're gonna be able to uh, to like use that password is take pictures of it on your phone or something. Or just write it all down. Fishing up between those two options, I would suggest taking pictures on your phone. Because if you start writing it down, you're gonna get something wrong. Over here, I can see the, the lake of mist from here. Careful. Mine, Gala, look out! The ground is collapsing. No, don't get carried away. Careful, or you'll get hurt. What on earth is going on? 
Is there something under us? I mean, don't tell me you can see that. Hey, Juggernaut. Vaughn, that voice. It's Juggernaut. It's Juggernaut. Juggernaut is below us. It stopped. Maybe he's sleeping. That must have been Juggernaut tossing in his sleep. I guess so. Anyway, let's hurry. We can't afford to waste time. Juggernaut, stop. I love you in the X-Men cartoon. I actually remember, like, I think the first time that I heard of Juggernaut, like, the, you know, Marvel Juggernaut. Uh, Marvel, right? X-Men? Yeah. But, um, so Archie Comics had a couple of crossovers with Marvel. I believe there was a particular crossover that was, like, uh, like, they had a, a series called Codename A-R-C-H-I-E, which was like, the Archie characters were all secret agents. And I think there was a crossover that was like, A-R-C-H-I-E versus the Juggernaut. And, of course, the similarity between the, the word Juggernaut, or the name Juggernaut, and the name Jughead. is a weird association that my weird brain formed. I don't think I ever like saw that uh, that particular crossover. I just saw the advertisements. Archie did have some weird crossovers. Like I, I when and it has some like advertisements as well that like comic strip advertisements like there's one in particular that I remember where they were hawking the um, the ASCII pad which was a Super Nintendo third-party controller as well as uh, Spin Dizzy Worlds um, as a result of that uh, I never did find an ASCII pad, but I did eventually get a uh, like a secondhand copy of Spin Dizzy from a you know, secondhand store. It was alright. It wasn't like for for one thing, I it wasn't that great, and also I don't really see how the ASCII pad would have helped with that game. Because, like, the ASCII pad had, like, it, its thing is, like, it had, like, uh, auto fire. Fox. Golden Claw. Well, that sounds like equipment. Yes, for the, for the Super Nintendo. back for a second. Wish that didn't take like five hours to load. Is 
It's like, is this something that I can interact with? No? Okay. Box. Oh, with a wonder amulet. Very nice. Ooh. Save point. I don't think we're quite to the boss yet. But uh, we're probably getting pretty close. I mean, I will say that ASCII pad looked pretty neat. But um, we, we did not find one of those. This guy really bites. Oh. You scared him, or at least try to. Might not get to your next turn. We'll see. See us in this door. Okay. Big open room. Unholy icon. Have you gotten an unholy icon before? Only I was good at locating new things. God icon. Penetrate an enemy's defense. <laughs> Come to think of it, doesn't... Yeah, Gala has one of those. Uh, also, how is health doing? Um, I'm doing fine for now, I think. Yes, I know that the treasure chest is empty. I'm trying to run. So that was just a room that existed for no reason. What is this room? It's it looks important, but there's nothing there. I guess let's save again. Saving is a lot like voting. Early and often. Sir. All right. Are there no fights in this room? Oh. 
Rapid transport system number two now displaying default on. Ah, I see. But that looked like a door that I was going to. I think that way is another box. So I'm gonna go that way. I'm not gonna save again. Use spirit. Use spirit as well. Which will allow both of you to weather the storm. Well, that was exciting. Now let's do it again! I, this is kind of ridiculous, these enemies here. If Noah didn't have the Wonder Amulet... Or the Rainbow... the Rainbow Jewel. The Wonder Amulet is for status. If she didn't have the Rainbow Jewel, she would be dead pretty much regardless of anything that I would have done. Also, I'm going to have to uh, restore Vaughn's MP here in a minute. He's spending a lot of MP on Spoon. Lucky indeed, especially considering the fact that you're currently the only one who has received a new weapon in a while. wasn't the way. But I was right about there being a box over on that side. At least it was nice to confirm that. A great axe. And 
that is an upgrade for Gala. Over here, no. So now we gotta do another 50 fights and go out the uh, go out the left way. Or maybe he'll just let us pull this lever without a single fight, sure. <laughs> Who's there? Haha! <laughs> I'm Jet, Apostle of the Mist. This is my castle. Keep your hands off that machine. Here, Jet, I'll kick your butt. Well, well, what a brave girl you are. It's too bad. If Juggernaut were not soundly sleeping in order to re replenish his mist elixir, he would silence you all. Uh, he would silence you for all eternity with just one blow. Oh, wait a minute. Now I remember. I conquered. I have read your minds and now know your thoughts. What the? That's lame, dude. I believe this is our second meeting. Of course, you all—you also know well of Prince Court. Court? Court is my elder brother. What's the matter with you? Have you forgotten what the mist caused that day? What the? Where's Jet? Where did he go? Horrible mist. <laughs> the mist is not horrible. It is divine. When a true ruler controls the mist, humans will evolve. That is why mist generators are made. This mist generator is far more powerful than the prototype you've seen. With the power of the mist, we have enhanced Seru and have created Simseru. And in the fortress is the ultimate mist generator. With the powerful Simsir created at Conkrum, we're, e we're making an even thicker mist. I too am wearing one such invincible Simsir. His power exceeds even that of Rogue. With this power, I shall now destroy you all. I should have saved. I didn't realize this fight was now. Anyway, we're severely underleveled for this. We're probably going to die. But one thing that we are going to do for sure... Everyone use a Wonder Elixir. Good. Fight the one who took the Wonder Elixir first. That's a lot of hits, actually. Uh, the, taking all these Wonder Elixirs is probably a very bad idea, actually. But at the very least, it means we're taking our, uh, our first uh, Spirit Break at the right time. What are you doing? You're having a bowel movement. Okay, uh, let's start with orb. You're going to Miracle Art. And I don't think you're yet able to... Yeah, you can't do 9 yet. Yeah. 
Oh, that that is actually a lot of damage against the one person in this room who cannot defend. <laughs> I was really hoping that the counter would work out there. Let me guess. Everyone spirit again? No? Clone? Oh, what is this? Okay, I've been defensive for long enough here. We gotta we gotta deal with this situation now. I'm tempted to say that that's probably the real one, because the cursor was already on it. That being said, the fake one probably has less health, but just as much... No? Oh dear. Well, now we know which one is the real one. We also know that I should have defended you. Thankfully, Gala's still alive somehow. Well, that that use of a healing berry was definitely well timed. Uh, Noah, you get some heals. Actually, hang on. Okay, now you're not currently in. Okay, yeah. Noah, you get some heals. You spirit, you attack. Come on now, really? How do you get so many attacks? Jeez. Spoon and you spirit. Okay, that was a bad idea. That was it that was either a bad idea or like the best idea. One of the two. What is that noise? Like seriously, do you have are you constipated or something? Do you need some fiber? this baka
Okay, everyone attack. It should be... Should be this one, right? Nope. Hang on. Wait a minute. I think it's the one closest Noah. No, wait, no, 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 no. The one closest Noah did no damage. It's you. No, not auto. Oh, good. He's cloning again. I hope I'm not wasting this miracle art. I wasted that miracle art. 3816 damage down the pooper. Down the pooper? What am I talking about? Oh goody! Another two two thousand seven hundred damage, just completely wasted because it auto targeted to that one for some reason. I'm so happy. But the only thing that hits is Gala's super art. Unfortunately, everyone is uh, spiriting for this turn. Miracle Art, and you're going to heal. There we go. That one found its mark. Now, I am trying to gather AP. That's not helping. That is a fair amount of damage, though, just for fire, bro. Okay, come on. Picking on the one person here who cannot defend. Here comes another shadow break, so I was right to defend on everyone. Yeah, the idea of, uh, you know, spirit and then attack kind of reminds me of the defend attack from uh, Seven Saga. So you Org, you Miracle Art, and uh, you Super Art. 
Still not falling down. Let's hope it doesn't take too much more before he does start falling. Oh, block me. Ah. Okay, let me guess, everyone's here, right? Because he's either going to Shadow Break or he's going to clone. Let's get everyone do their thing. See if maybe that can be enough. Really? Still not falling down. Have another miracle art, you jerk. Let me tell you what the real miracle is. Pumping out so many of these. There we go, now he's starting to fall down. comes another shadow break. I'm gonna have Vaughn use Spoon after those, I think. If for no other reason than himself, really. So he's gonna be down to like $500. No, $670, okay. Still kinda low. Even with his uh, self-restoring ability. Spoon! Finally getting a uh, counter on this guy. So Jet gets no damage this time. This has to take all of it. It's gonna be enough. Not quite. It's 
Gotta be close though, right? So surely you can't just keep doing this. How many times has he done Shadow Break this fight after? I feel like this is like the seventh time. Alright. I feel like this has got to do it. Miracle art. Miracle art. Super art. Go. Vaughn, please. Help me out here. So here's the problem with having used up all of my wonder elixirs, is that now I don't have any wonder elixirs. But that's what it took to win the fight, I guess. So, here we are. I see a bleak future for you all. <laughs> Yours is the future of eternal despair, a dark wilderness. We wasted much time. That's all you gotta say? We wasted much time? Okay. Anyway, before that whole fight started, uh, Jet kind of switched the switch here on us. That definitely needs to be to the left if we want to proceed further into the um, mist generator and try to take it out. And proceed. To the mist generator we shall do maybe don't press the break button before actually announcing the break now i've pressed the, the pause button and now i'm ready to press the break button after i've said y'all can take a moment get some to drink go to the bathroom if you need to stretch your arms stretch your legs stretch your teeth and in about 10 to 15 minutes we shall be proceeding deeper into the absolute fortress and take out the mist generator therein. So I'll see you in a bit. This is the point where I press the break button.